not read the manual on how this fits. I'm going to have to look at how this actually holds us together. I kind of look silly here. <laughs> G'day. Hopefully you're doing very well keeping healthy and safe. For me, I'm just recovering from a cold or something. I've just lost my voice. I've just got it kind of back. So hopefully it'll go all the way through. There's a video without hopefully going hoarse. Now, Lenovo have actually sent me to have a look and this is the very first impression of the new Lenovo Yoga Book 9. Now this is a dual screen laptop. Now this is probably the first time I've seen Lenovo actually attempt this. I've seen Zeus have done this before on the dual and also they actually had something very similar but it's just a little bit different there which is the Zeus ZenBook Fold. Now I actually didn't review that but I had had a play with it and I actually got some experience with just the extra keyboard and this one's very similar style. Now, I want to love to see how Lenovo have actually implemented this screen and also how this kind of work with the Bluetooth keyboard. So without further ado, let's do the unboxing for this first and let's have a look what there's like. Now this is, I've got my good old trusty knife here. I'm just going to just give it a slit. Oh, I've kind of missed that, didn't I? Oh, I've kind of missed it again. Hopefully I'm going to get this thing right. There's that cut there. That one there, we're good down there. Here now, hopefully, we get through this. Now, this is a 13th gen Intel Core, and it does use the Ultra series. So, you are looking, ooh, okay, look at that. Now, we've actually got a Bluetooth mouse here. Interesting, this is actually a retail sort of version of the mouse they've given you. Now, this is the Lenovo 600 Bluetooth silent mouse. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, I will kind of do the unboxing of that in a moment, but let's get on with it right here. Now, oh, we've got uh, some packaging here of cardboard. It's good to see it's using cardboard here. All right, now what do we got down here? Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, let me get this thing out. Oh, this is a nice box. Okay, that's not, not empty. I'm gonna just pop this one down here. And oh, this box is fancy, I've got to say. Impressive box, just the box alone is impressive just look at that now this is a very nice looking box i love the look of this box here this feels premium already now oh god i'm actually very impressed by this i know it's all recyclable as this is a uh, cardboard but geez it's a nice texture to it and just nice feel well done lenovo on putting some idea and some actually effort on the packaging and oof, that, oh, i don't need that one there i might as well just leave this here just so you guys have a look at but geez, I'm still am very impressed by this. Now open. I was just making sure I open from the right way here. So I'm just gonna open from the bottom here. How do we do this? Is this one of those like Apple thing where it opens? Oh, this is a one-sided way. I'm just trying to get this working way out. Uh, I think this is, okay. Oh, it is. It's a flip. I was thinking it was like a box like that, but no, it opens like this. All right, here we go. Whew. Now, I'm going to try and just see if I can hold it. Now, as always, you guys know on this channel, I love having a look at what the power adapter is. So I'm excited to see what the power adapter is here. Okay, let's have a look what we've got here. Ooh, I like this packaging already. It is not all recyclable. It's good to see the sustainability part of Lenovo. Now, oh, this, ooh, ooh, nearly fell that apart. Okay, we've got, ooh, this is a very different sort of power adapter I'm used to, from, especially from Lenovo. USB-C, as I expected it should be. And we've got a Velcro to keep cable management, fantastic. Now, uh, this is kind of like a brick style, but let's see how I'm gonna open this thing up. Now, this is all cardboard here. So that's good to see now. I'm gonna get through to this. Ah, how am I gonna rip through? Because I wanna see what what's this power adapter on this thing. Here we go, let's just move across. There we go, finally. Ugh. 65 watts, there you go, 65 watts. Then again, that's kind of what I kind of expected from the process. This is here has the Intel 13th gen Intel Core. It is the i7-13, I think it is the 1355U or something. I've got to double check on it. I did see it around somewhere on the box. So I'll have a look, I saw it before. I'm gonna actually describe what it was, but I'll bring it back in again in a moment. But yeah, so that's kind of expected for 65 watts, which means most power adapters will be able to hopefully charge this laptop and being USB-C, that's a nice standardized one. Anyway, let's just move this along. Okay, now let's continue on with this. All right, let's see if I can try to bring this out. Oh, so this is the yoga book. Now I'm gonna just wait a little bit. We'll wait for the surprise in a moment. I'm gonna just pop it down here. I'm gonna see what else is in the box here. 
as I should expected it. I can see a pen already here. Now I'm just gonna open this up. Now I could be, I will do this honors. I'll do the honors. Yeah, that feels good just to that. Now, love it, feel it. Okay, what's in here? Uh, documentations, yeah, you know, I don't really read that too much later on. Is there anything else besides that? Nope. All right, I think, how do you open this thing? Oh, uh, that's that way, all right. Now I've got to pull this thing out. I can see there's a pen in here. I'm just trying to get way to the pen. Get me to the pen. So it's, it does have pen support. Uh, it, I think this one here, I've got to figure out what's this is when I just open it up and find out what model number this pen is, but I know it's got 4,092 pen level sensitivity levels. There we go, finally got through it. Okay, let's unwrap this pen here. Uh, we'll tell you what this pen is. If this is unique to it, I'm pretty sure it will be unique to it. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's a nice, good, ah, sticky stuff. Nice, good, good weight to it. So it's got a little weight, nice little weight to it. So it's not like really light, but it's got a nice little weight that you will feel from nice good pens. Uh, and it's got a little bit of nice sort of tip to it. Uh, we've got two buttons on the sides and there's no button on top. Now I'm saying it's going to be, just screw it. I'm guessing this is going to be where the battery is going to be located rather than have a USB-C rechargeable. I'm just going to just double check that. Yep, that is. So it runs off a ooh, very tr nice little slim triple A battery here. Uh, we'll come back to that a little bit later on anyway. So, all right, let's just move along here. Now, I know there's other stuff in here, so I'm gonna go keep going through. Well, let's just try and move some of this. All right, I've got something here. That, uh, I know what this one is. This is kind of what I was expecting, but I will, let's go through it anyway. Again, doing the honors. Oh, Jesus, I've kind of messed that up, didn't I? That's all right. Okay, here we go. Oof, here's the keyboard. This is the Bluetooth keyboard. Now this Bluetooth keyboard, I'm just gonna move this one. That's a nice slim keyboard. We've got nice rubber backing at the both sides on the top and bottom. Now you can't lift it up anymore, but that at least is a nice way. Now, as for the feel of this, woof. Now this feels very similar to the Yoga, I think uh, the Yoga, Pro series that I was actually review. So I reviewed the Pro 7i and also the Pro 9. This has the exact same feel and look to it. Oof, I love it. It's good. And I gotta say, I'm really digging this sort of like tilk tilk. Tidal tilk is the actual color they call this thing. Uh, and it's got, yeah, nice. Quite quiet. And yeah, it's got a bit of key travel, not like amazing high key travel. So it's a bit of a shallow key travel, but still got a bit of key travel, not feeling bad. And this, yeah, because of rubber backing, that ain't moving anywhere. Sweet. Now, is there an on and off button? I wonder if there is an on and off button or is it not? There's no on and off button, so I'll just check on the buttons though. I guess it does it automatically. All the AI in the world these days, isn't it? All right, is there anything else from this on here? No, that's it. That's it for the box, but still. Impressive box, love it. I'm gonna chuck this in here. Oh, here we go. I've got the specs here now. What was it? I was right. It was the i7-1355U in this. Now, let's have a look at, whew, now. Again, the wrapping is beautiful. I've gotta say, give it tops to Lenovo for thinking about the packaging, putting some effort into the packaging. I'm gonna try and keep this one intact so I can return it back into now. So I'm gonna just, Take this off. Again, this will be recyclable. I can feel it is recycled. So that's nice. I'm just gonna check this off here. Woo, nice. Again, very similar feel to the Yoga Pros that I've been playing with. Woof, it is nice. Oh, but there is a bit of a difference I can see straight away. The sides, wow, that is nice. That's that shiny aluminum. Now this is aluminum on the top, I know, and on the bottom, it's all aluminum. This has a premium feel to it. Woof! A little bit of the hinge, the hinge, oof, you've got some holes in it. And again, it's like that shiny premium look to it. This is nice. Now, let's have a quick look at the ports here anyway. So, uh, I've got two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the, let's say, call it the right hand side. And on the left hand side, I've got one Thunderbolt 4 port. And where is the power button? Power button, oh yeah, power buttons is actually closer towards the user end of the thing. And then we also got a uh, a privacy shutter for the webcam. So that's just to let you know, it's a physical 
But in there, and that was all there is. Now, Jesus, that is a nice feeling book. Very, very smooth all the way through. Push, just like this. And that just pairs up beautiful. That again, that title, Tilk Color. Now, I actually wondering, before I'm gonna open this up, I was wondering where this pen sits because I just have absolutely no idea because I threw away the document. I can feel, does this have any sort of idea how to actually keep this thing with it? Nope. I will have to, I'm just seeing if there's anything magnetic for it. Is there anything magnetic to hold this thing? It does not look like I've got any sort of magnetic to hold the thing now again same idea <laughs> anyway let's move on digress so it looks like i might have to actually work out um, from the documentation is there a way to actually hold this pen to attach this pen to this if not then hopefully we'll get a lanyard away and anyway, let's open this beautiful baby up oh oh of course i'm gonna put something coming out uh all right let's just let it's just some congratulations i've bought this thing well i'm not Ooh, there we go. Now I am looking at this. This has some document. This is, tells you about the keyboard, and the keyboard can do some other funky stuff. But we'll do that in a moment. You can eight fingers virtual keyboard. Yeah, virtual keyboard. This. But geez, this is the dual screen we're talking about. Now I'm gonna try and I'm gonna turn this thing on, and I have a feeling, as always, most of the novels you've got to connect to power just to get it out of um, packaging mode. So I've got a, a quick. USB here, C, I'm going to chuck into any USB-C and here I'm going to just hopefully turn this thing on hopefully it registered this, yep it did, sweet now this is 13.3, 2.8K on each display so that's 2.8K on top, 2.8K resolution on bottom and there are 13.3 inch displays and the 400 nits rating for the top and also on the bottom, so that is decently bright, and they're all both LED, so we're gonna expect some very beautiful, vibrant colors, and we've got some nice sharpness out of it normally with from LED, so loving it. Oh, that is nice. It's gonna be interesting to see how the flow of having a dual screen. Now, again, I've had some experience with the Zeus fold and that had like a sort of like a thing but I didn't like an implementation of it had some fun things of it so I'm hoping this is going to be a very nice sort of experience here but I did like how the keyboard worked and I'm just going to have to go through so I'm going to be back once this has gone through the setup so we can get past the next part of the experience I've just quickly finished setting up the Yoga Book 9 and I had a little bit of read of some of the documentation I chucked away because I had to look about how this pen and also this Bluetooth keyboard work. Now I just want to get back to this Bluetooth keyboard as there is actually a power button. I just could not see it before but it's actually on the right hand side. There is a power button and it also has Bluetooth and it goes in the middle for on and then you can just push it all the way to the end and that will be the connect button just to repair it if you need to repair it. Now, it, is, it is powered by USB-C so you can charge this Bluetooth keyboard with USB-C. So that's great to see. And again, it feels so slick move. Now, I also read there's uh, something, I, and I also remembered something when I actually presented this on the PowerPoint slides earlier this year. Anyway, that there's actually supposed to meant to be a stand with this thing. And that's what that I'm missing an extra bit from this packaging. So I'm gonna go look for it now with you guys. So let me just bring this thing out of this box again. And I am going just to try and open this thing back, which means there's just something I've just missed down here. And that is, I'll just pull this thing out. Okay, there's just another box. And it's just hidden back. It's just so nicely, like really tight. That's this little part here. I didn't realize there's a little part. There's also another part I actually want to show you guys as well. But I'm gonna just start with this one here. I was just again, I'll just pop this back down here and make it look nice and neat for you guys. And oh, again, I'll do the honors on ripping this thing out. Whew. That feels great, hasn't it? All right, here we go. Now, this is kind of like a car or like a cover, sort of. I'll just chuckle this anyway. Whoops, sorry. Uh, it's kind of like a cover, but it's also more like a stand sort of. Oh, what's this extra bit here? Mm, I think this, I'm not sure if we need to keep that or not. It feels like, I think it's just to hold this thing in, but now again, part but I'll just chuck it here just so I don't lose things anyway in case. Now this is also where you store your pen, uh, so as before. So this is the sort of stand. Now I'm gonna get back to this very moment very soon. So 
I'm just gonna give you quickly my experience so far on this. Now also, notice I've just chucked this back on power so I have a little bit more power for this thing to come through. Let's see if I can wake it up, awesome. It's working up, fantastic. As you can see, we've got a dual screen here. Now, this in this nice little part in the middle, the hinge, sorry, the hinge in the middle is got a lot of holes in it. I just realized, and when I test, tested it out, that's where the speakers are. So this speakers will work 360 degrees, whatever condition or any orientation this book can be, you actually hear the sounds, no problems at all. You can be in tent mode here, you can be in uh, basically tablet mode as well, or you can be in computer and laptop mode, clamshell mode, you whatever. Those speakers you'll be here anyway. Now they actually sound pretty decent. Now I'm gonna show test it in a moment, but I'm just gonna quickly show firstly the keyboard thing. Now I'm gonna actually what I might do do the keyboard after because I'm gonna get this on the stand here so you can actually have a look at the functionality for it. So I'm just gonna pop this down. Now this keyboard here. Uh, cover it does have a little loophole where you can store the pen so that's where it really is stored now this has a few configurations for this so you can either actually fold this up now, I'm just gonna try and do this fold here you can fold it like a triangle now this triangle is to actually give it a few different ways to do it so you can do it like a book mold just to give it a little thing so it's kind of like a reading like a book that's kind of cool. Let me see if I can get myself centered here for you guys to have a look at. So you can do like a book mode and you can also put this into, whoa, into this sort of mode here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So you actually have a two screens you can be working on nicely with the keyboard out in front and I'm gonna actually open up the mouse. See if I can open up the mouse. Oh, why not? I need to, oh, I need to have my knife. Where did I chuck my knife? Underneath all this, I think it is. Here we go. Get out my overkill knife. Open this baby up. Excellent. Let's have a feel this knife. Uh, hi, this mouse. All right, let's get this mouse going. And we do have a, a, a double A battery in here. I'll, I'll get into it, but it's a quite slim. This mouse feels very slim. Mouse here. Ooh. very slim. Now it actually has Bluetooth one and two, so you can pair it to two different devices. That's nice to see. You can actually pair two different devices. And of course, that in the middle is probably sensitive to lead over the middle now. It is a very slim looking feeling things here. So that is a nice just sort of setup that you will have that you can be in this sort of mode. Now, as for putting this on a different mode here, so you can do that. You can also chuck this into, let me have a look how I can do this. I have to read the manual how this, um, <laughs> I, look, I look silly trying to work out this inner part of it. Uh, does this actually fit onto the back of this or not? Yes, it does. It does fit into the back of it. I'm just wondering if this fits into the back here. Again, I have not read the manual on how this fits. I'm going to have to look at how this actually holds this together. I'll kind of look silly here. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Now, there's also another thing I've noticed that this actually has. Now, when the packaging, uh, as I was looking for something, uh, they actually come with this thing here, like I did from, I can see from here, you can actually fold this up. Just reusing some of the packaging, you can make a little nice little triangle. Give this a little bit of depth, so you can actually pop this up in. Oh, let me just get this thing open, Let's turn this thing on. And pop this underneath if you really wanted to, just to give it a little bit of things, uh, just a little bit tilting. So I had a quick look at the manual very quickly on how this works in a way. So this, Cover here is a magnetic at the bottom, which is where you actually store this. As you can feel that, that's magnetic. And this is actually just to give the protection to the keyboard. So you actually carry this separately. It doesn't actually attach this to this at all. So I was something that I did not expect it to see. So that's actually nice, just to keep protection of the keyboard. Uh, that's what, where you hold, you hold these two things here, but very nice. Now let's get to the experience of this laptop here. So let me see if I can bring this back laptop back in line. Now I am going to just move this. I'm actually going to get another helper for this to help us just to give a little bit more angle so you guys can see this. Uh, I, just cause what the built-in stuff is fantastic, but just to show you guys a little bit more on the camera, I'm just going to give this a bit more tilt. That's all. Just so you guys can see what, whoa, what is going to happen here. Now, 
as I'm going to do the keyboard, let me get the keyboard in the right way. Or right. now, you can actually attach the keyboard two different ways. You can touch it at the bottom, and what would happen is you then have very similar to a laptop which I played with, which is the Zeus ZenBook Dual. You actually have a second display here on here. Now I am got this sort of thing. Well, let me see if I can bring this thing up, and uh, I can either pop it. Where's the little quick bar? I'm just going to see if I can find the quick. There it is. Down here, you can actually chuck into different modes here. Windows 11 will find that, so I can just chuck it down to the bottom one here, and it snap into different rods here, different grids here. Now, you can just pull the actual title, and then you'll see a little drop down button here. Uh, just hopefully, you'll be able to see that. You can just drop that, or automatically flick down here. Now, that is using the whole entire display. But once you've got the keyboard in, it will put it down here. Now, I am going to actually show you also the keyboard. You just sort of thing. You can pop it into the top end of the display, and well, because this is on an angle, as you can see, we've got maybe too much angle. I have got it too much angle. Let me just bring this thing down a little bit. Here, it is a very slippery. You'll see this bottom part automatically activates as a trackpad, so you can use this. And even though it is a virtual trackpad, it does have some feedback. You get a little bit of tactic from actual bottom of the computer so you actually do feel that you're actually clicking on something down there so very nice on implementation on this I have kind of like it but you also got to make sure you remove this keyboard before you close the displays you don't want that squishing onto that each other they are very beautiful displays you don't want to be ruining them at all you can also bring up the virtual keyboard on the second display by actually tapping with eight fingers on the display you'll see actually a virtual keyboard come up which you can then just type and you also have the trackpad at the bottom which I now just dismiss the keyboard just top on the right hand right, on the x and then you'll get your display back but else you can also use the bluetooth keyboard fantastic function i love that how quickly and easy that is now i'm just going to do a quick sound test just to see the speakers how they actually perform now i'm only going to have on 30 percent as it's quite late at night i've got some uh, my daughter is, is sleeping Now, I've got to say, I'm actually very impressed by the actual audio of this. It does have quite nice acoustics. You've got a bit of that nice reverb, and that bass does come in, and it's just not like overpowering bass. It is very, what I'll say, mid bass, well, say mid balance. It is very nicely balanced between the high mids and lows, and it just sounds good quality there. Fantastic work, Lenovo, on the speakers. But again, I will be doing a proper full review of this yoga book once I spend a bit of time for it. And I'll put it in a link in the description below when that is. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, to even support my channel, smash that like button for me. And as always, it will be nice if you can share it. It does help me out on the channel as well. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.